<laughs> All right, kids, welcome to another great story. We're glad you're here, and we're glad you're reading along with us. What do the kids need to know? And they have to like, comment, share, subscribe, because we have questions at the end of the story. When you answer our question, I'm gonna give you a growl out. And a real snowy, 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 snowy sh shout out. Ooh, yeah. All right, our book today is from Joyce Meyer, The Perfect Christmas Pageant. It was the Christmas season at Everyday Zoo and the whole town glistened, glittered, and glowed. Alliteration again. Mm -hmm. But nothing sparkled as brightly as Haley Hippo's spirits because she had been chosen to direct this year's Christmas pageant. Oh, look who it is, Snows. It's Haley Hippo. Hi, Haley. Hi, this is the story about you. Ooh. Last year, the Bunny family had been in charge of the production, all 25 of them. Babs Bunny's performance as Mary was amazing. And what a sweet baby Jesus. The music, the costumes, the manger made of carrots, Everything was wonderful. Haley was determined to make this year's pageant the best one yet. When she arrived at the theater, Pouch smiled as he handed her copies of the script. I'm sure you know what the Christmas story is about, he said. Haley nodded. Oh yes, it's all about the birth of Christ. Haley's eyes sparkled as she imagined how spectacular the play would be. It would be her special Christmas gift to Jesus, and it would be perfect. I think his name is Pouch because of his gullet. So when he swims down, he opens his mouth, puts it in the water, and scoops up a fish. What type of bird is that? That, I believe, is a pelican. Pelican, yeah. The first thing Haley needed was a great cast. She searched high and low for the perfect baby Jesus. Um, not quite right for the role. Then she ran into Miss Bimble and her adorable nephew, Bab. Oh, Miss Bimble, Bab is so cute and cuddly. Do you think he could play baby Jesus in the Christmas pageant? That's a splendid idea, dear. After Haley cast the rest of the roles, it was time for rehearsals to begin. Unfortunately, things didn't go as smoothly as she expected. The angel Gabriel was too loud. Fear not, Mary! The innkeeper was downright dangerous. The shepherd kept losing their way, and Joseph couldn't remember his lines. And Bab got his hair cut. Haley was disappointed. She wanted the pageant to be perfect. So she worked hard to try to fix the problems. Like any good producer would, right, Snows? Right. Hey, you just keep going, though. That's a leader for you. Problems always come up. It's just how you react to them. When it was time to start building the sets, everyone worked hard to make them the best they could be. Now that's a stable. That's a stable stable. That's a stable stable. <laughs> Rehearsals were finally going well until Boyd ran in carrying one of the angels. Bob! Ate off the wings. What are we going to do? I had a feeling he was teething, Miss Bimble said sheepishly. This won't do, Haley announced. We shouldn't have cardboard angels anyways. This play is about the birth of Jesus. We need something spectacular. That's when Haley had her best idea yet. You want us to be angels? asked Midge. But we're flightless birds, Gumdrop, said Pidge. You'll be suspended by ropes and pulleys, Haley said. Ropes and pulleys, cried Midge. I suppose that could work. You'll make the best angels ever, Haley assured them. Well, okay. Sign us up, said Pidge. Haley gave her friends a big, big hug. I promise it will be perfect. With Midge and Pidge set to make their flying debut, it was time for the final rehearsal. Harley was so excited, he forgot one of his lines. We will sleep on your table. This made Boyd and Arnold start to giggle. It's supposed to be in your stable. Boyd laughed so hard, he tripped over Arnold, who collapsed into a ball and started to roll. <laughs> you wanna know why he started rolling? Cause he's an armadillo. And armadillos get in that ball form when they roll and get scared. Oh, it's a defensive mechanism. Yes, it is. It was a complete disaster. Look or at that. is it? A tear rolled down Haley's cheek as she looked at the mess around her. The pageant is ruined. Harley gave her a hug. Don't cry, Haley. But I wanted everything to be perfect, she sniffled. I'm sure that's what Mary and Joseph wanted too that first Christmas, Pouch said. But things weren't perfect for them either. Goodness no, said Midge. They were exhausted from their long trip. 
Poor Mary was about to have a baby, clucked Pidge, and they had to sleep in a stable. But do you know the one thing that was perfect that night? Pouch said. Haley thought for a moment, and then her eyes grew wide. Jesus, she said, finally understanding. He was perfect. That's what the Christmas story is all about. Haley quietly picked up a hammer and some broken wood and headed for the door. Where are you going? Harley asked. To build a stable, Haley replied. Wait, Boyd shouted. You forgot the lights. I don't think we'll be needing those, she said. That night, the townsfolk of Everyday Zoo gathered around a humble stable to see the Christmas pageant. Haley watched proudly as the cast gave their best performance ever. Unto you this day is born a savior, an angel announced, wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger, declared another. We will go to Bethlehem to see him, the shepherds shouted exuberantly. Suddenly, one star, brighter than the rest, seemed to shine down, lighting up Mary, Joseph, and their baby. Mary smiled at her visitors. His name is Jesus, she said proudly. He's Christ the Lord, Joseph beamed. Isn't he awesome? Under a starry night sky, a group of friends celebrated the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ, just like the Holy Family and the shepherds did so many years ago. Everyone, including the Bunny Family, thought the celebration was wonderful. It wasn't perfect, but somehow it was just right. That was a really, really, really good story with a lot of good points on how you should act in situations when things just aren't quite working out for you. When life hands you lemons, what do you make, kids? Scrambled eggs? No! Apple juice? No, no! <laughs> Potato? <Haley>? Latkes? <laughs> no! You make lemonade! Mmm! And then you share it with your friend Snows. Mm-hmm. Okay, kids, comment, like, subscribe, and share. What questions do we have for the kiddos today? Who was in charge of the pageant before Haley took over? Right. You're going to have to go to the beginning. Listen to us read the first two pages and it will tell you. Comment that answer. And I'll give you a snowy, snowy shout out. And Fuzzy will give you a... Right. Mmm, perfect. Thanks, Kid Funko fam. Where's my ride? <sighs> I don't know. Can, can Candy Cane take Hippo? Oh, no. Probably not. Hi, Haley.